Welcome back to the Math Fun, my ASVAB party people. Anderson here, your ASVAB coach. Let's go ahead and take a look at solving equations. Now, as you guys know, solving equations can look like a ton of different things, right? Now, this one is one of the slightly more complicated examples that we can look at. But remember this, at the end of the day, when it comes to solving equations, it's really, 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 really about understanding the order operations and understanding how to work backwards. So let's go ahead and get into this and really understand again, step by step, this actually isn't terrible. Because when you're feeling anxiety about something like this, chances are you're probably looking at the entire thing, or you're thinking about all the work that you have to do. But you can only do one thing at a time. So let's go ahead and really learn how to calmly get through this. So step one here, I'm taking a look and we have, you know, five times a parentheses, seven times a parentheses, negative 51. Just analyze really quick, what do we have? And what I do notice is that, well, I have all of my variables on one side of the equal sign. All of them are on the left. So what it sounds like I need to do, since I have an X here and an X there, I'm probably gonna have to combine like terms and simplify before I can even solve this. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead, distribute here, distribute there, simplify, and then get this down to what we need it to be. So again, take it one step at a time. So here we go. I'm gonna take that five and distribute it to the one and distribute it to the negative 10X. Remember to really recognize the sign too, that's really important. So starting off here, five times one is gonna be five. And then you have five times a negative 10X. So you have a positive five right over here times a negative 10, so that's gonna be a negative. And then five times 10, that's gonna be 50. And then the X stays, and that's it. And then we keep going. And so from here, we see that we have a seven times a negative six X. And we also have right over here, seven times a negative eight. So again, same deal. Distribute, remember distribution just means make sure everything from the outside multiplies with everything from the inside, just like we see right here. So with that said, we have seven times negative six X. Positive times a negative, take it nice and slow. That's gonna be a negative. Then worry about the numbers, seven times six. Then worry about the variables. I don't have a variable on the, on the seven, but I do have it on the six. So we just bring that X right over. And then lastly, we have seven times negative eight. So a positive times a negative, that's gonna give me a negative. Seven times eight gives me 56. And then I just keep going as normal, just like that. So my party people, I really hope you're starting to see that look. Although this may have looked complicated, in one step, we've gotten rid of the parentheses. The next step, we're gonna combine the like terms so we can make it easier to see. And then from there, we can truly solve the equation by getting the number on the other side, then getting rid of the number on the X and all that good stuff. But we have to take it one step at a time. So really briefly, before we continue, I wanna make sure you understand one thing here. I offer a lot of free help including this YouTube channel, which I do appreciate you. And I hope that you like and comment on this video by the time we're done. But if you haven't done so already, I have a free practice test for the AFQT with video solutions so you can learn from every mistake. And on top of that, there's a free class once a week and there's probably one tonight if you're watching this video on a Monday. So make sure to sign up for the free practice test. The link is in the description of this video. So take a quick moment, register for it because it's gonna give you the free registration for my classes that way, you can ace the ASVAB nice and smooth on your time. And so, with that said, go ahead, register. Don't waste my time. Don't waste your time. Let's go ahead and get it done. But here we go. So here, we're going to go ahead and combine like terms. Here are where the like terms are. We have a negative 50x and a negative 42x. Those are like terms because, again, they have the same variable and the same exponent. And over here, we have a 5 and a negative 56. Just regular numbers. They are like terms. They're just numbers. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of right over here, negative 50 and negative 42X. Well, you bring those together and guess what that's gonna be? Well, they're both negative. So you're basically just adding, but staying negative. So 50 and 42 becomes 92, but it becomes negative 92X. And then over here with the five and the negative 56, well, same deal. Well, you have a five, a positive, but a negative 56. So when you have the different signs being combined, just subtract the numbers and keep the sign of the bigger number. So here we have 56 minus five is 51, but you're gonna keep it a negative 51 simply because right over here, because you have again, a positive five, a negative 56. So the difference between them is 51, but it goes in the negative direction because that negative 56 is clearly bigger, clearly bigger. So now we'll move forward here and take a look at what we have. 
Isn't this interesting? If you see something like this, I can tell you right now, I know the answer is going to automatically be zero, but here's why. Here's why. Because when I go ahead and get rid of that 51 from both sides, when I add 51, look at what happens. You had minus 51 on both sides of the equation. You had minus 51 on both sides, meaning that to get rid of this minus 51, it'd be the same as getting rid of that. You have to add 51 on both sides and that's going to cancel right out. Cancel right out. And so what we end up having is a negative 92x equals zero. And what are we supposed to do to both sides to finish this off? We got to divide both sides by negative 92 to get rid of that negative 92 on the x. But what's zero divided by anything? Zero. And so there we go. When we go ahead and just take care of business here, divide by negative 92 on both sides, you take a look right here, not gonna happen, right? Nothing's gonna happen. So this cancels out and we end up getting x equals zero. Booyah, right there, and there's our answer. But don't forget my part of people, look, at the end of the day, I want you to succeed. We have a free practice test again with free registration to my free ASVAB classes once a week. And even if you can't make it to the free classes, please do yourself a favor and go ahead and reach out to me if you have any questions about my program. So here is my number right over here. So my phone number is 567-698-8867. I'm Coach Anderson and I wanna help you pass the ASVAB. I have a full program to help you get there because I have all my recordings to all my classes, more classes and the free stuff, all of my practice problems, video solutions, my support every step of the way, I got you. So let's make sure we're taking advantage of these resources, putting our best foot forward, and acing the ASVAB at the end of the day. I'm Coach Anderson, I'll see you in tonight's class, and let's keep raising our scores so we can get the jobs we want. I'll see you soon, let's have fun.